Very few shows are perfect. Unlike films which aren't released to us until they're totally complete, television is a medium that, because of episode length, divides its narrative across seasons, meaning that there's a lot greater chance that the wheels could just come totally off. Now, don't get me wrong, a great season of a show can put it on the map in a big way, but because of the sheer number of shorts, there's going to be duff episodes even in the best series. And the offenders on this list aren't just run-of-the-mill bad, they fundamentally got it wrong. Almost to the point where it could have ballsed up the entire affair right there and then. So with this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com and these are 8 terrible episodes that almost ruined great TV shows. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. Number 8. Lost. Stranger in a Strange Land Now, this is the thing. Lost is a good TV show. It's just mired in a lot of shit and needlessly complex moments where it clearly thinks it's more clever than it is. Yet Stranger in a Strange Land was an episode that is so bad that executive producer Damon Lindelof actually used it as an example of why ABC needed to give the creators an end date to the show. If the network didn't let them wrap up soon, he said, the writers would have to keep making episodes like this. So, what's the episode about? Well, the big reveal is that we get to find out what Jack's tattoos mean. It just screams filler episode, and it's one that takes the flashback motif to absurd lengths. Nothing is accomplished, and it's just a waste of everyone's time. Number 7. The Office. The Farm. Now, I loved The American Office. I thought that once it moved beyond the awkward growing pains years of the English counterpart and found its legs, that this truly was a fantastic show for the most part. However, there's one episode that stands out to many as the worst, and not because it was downright terrible in terms of comedy, but because it set up something that went absolutely nowhere. The Farm comes at the end of the ninth season, and it showcased Dwight mixing with his fellow beet farming family. It was meant to launch a spin-off show, so spent a lot of time introducing scenes that never really had a payoff. Plus, it highlighted that Dwight is only truly funny when contrasted against the straight-laced office workers, not with people who are as over-the-top as he is. And unfortunately, the episode stands out as a failure to recapture any sense of realism after Steve Carell's unfortunate departure. Number 6. The West Wing. Access. The West Wing famously lost its creator Aaron Sorkin after its fourth season, and a lot of fans feel that the show really started to decline from that point. But while it was definitely sad to lose Sorkin's voice, the last half of the show still had plenty of memorable moments and episodes, and the series was able to find a sort of second wind by introducing the campaign storyline and the Matt Santos character. But Access, an episode towards the end of the show's middling fifth season, is a gimmick that just didn't end up working. The episode takes place entirely in a documentary format, with the premise being that we're following a typical day in the life of CJ. But the gimmick quickly becomes tiring, and the episode limits us to a frustrating degree. It was supposedly meant to soft launch a new style, but it directly contrasts with the type writing that the show required. Unfortunately, many see this as the point where the captain had truly abandoned the sinking ship. Number 5. Dexter – Remember the Monsters Now, Dexter was clearly going downhill for a while, but for the most part, the latter seasons weren't really bad enough to retroactively ruin what had come before. They were boring and sometimes really dumb, but usually not that bad, all things considered. But then you have the series finale, Remember the Monsters, which calls into question if it was even worth it to start watching the show in the first f***ing place. It really is one of the worst hours of television ever, I kid you not. The slow build of Dexter's character had been well laid out. Could he escape his murderous tendencies and become a boring old normie? Well, yes, it turns out, and by yes, I mean that he f off to become a lumberjack and abandons his child. Now, to be fair, this is what I did with my son Ewan, but as a TV ending, it felt so rushed and so forced. Did it really need to end like this? Well, that's a hard goddamn no from us. Number 4. Doctor Who – Love and Monsters Love and Monsters has got to be one of the worst Doctor Who episodes of the modern series. For one, the Doctor is barely even in this, appearing briefly at the beginning and then not showing up until 36 minutes in. The whole episode revolves around a new character, Elton Pope, who is obsessed with the Doctor and part of a group who has had strange encounters with him. The group tries to find out more about the Doctor, but then out of nowhere they meet an alien named The Absorberloff, who is easily one of the dumbest-looking aliens in the rebooted series. The monster absorbs 
Elton's friend Ursula, and the Doctor then suddenly appears to defeat the creature in a very anticlimactic way. Then, at the very end, we find out that the Doctor was able to keep Ursula alive in a block of concrete. Elton still maintains a relationship with the block of concrete with Ursula's face on it, and the two have even got a bit of a love life. What the f***, man? Number 3. The Simpsons – The Principal and the Pauper now, before you bite my head off, Matt Groening, the all-father of The Simpsons, openly stated that this episode of The Jaundiced Crew is one of his least favourites and is one that he does not consider canon. Yes, that's right, the principal and the pauper were so stupid that it doesn't even exist in the same reality as the majority of this cartoon show. Now, the jokes in this episode are actually pretty good, but the overall plot of Skinner being a rogue who stole another man's identity is totally off-base. It ruins his character of being a straight-laced figure of authority. I know it's The Simpsons, but you know what? This mattered. Kind of. Anyway, it lets me get to say this, though. Worst episode ever. Number 2. Futurama – Saturday Morning Fun Pit Futurama is a show that came back from a long absence that, for the most part, was still able to remain consistently funny in its later seasons. However, some of the new episodes definitely suffered from either being too reliant on topical humour, like jokes about iPhones and gay marriage, or being too reliant on gimmicks. Saturday Morning Fun Pit is an example of the latter problem. The episode is meant to be a parody of old cartoons like G.I. Joe and Scooby-Doo, breaking from the show's typical format. For one, with an episode coming so close to the end of the series, it was a bit disappointing to get yet another gimmick episode. However, the worst thing is, is that it just wasn't that funny. It never really gets beyond the point of, yes, I get that this is a Scooby-Doo reference, which is a shame because for the most part, this show had razor-sharp wit. Here, it's about as blunt as a f***ing hammer. And number one, How I Met Your Mother, Last Forever. Oh boy, Last Forever, the final episode of How I Met Your Mother was so shockingly bad. Fans were begging for it to be a dream or for it to be some sort of practical joke. Hell, I was praying for this to be a dream and that Ted would just laugh and just say, Just kidding, your mother was a hooker and I told this story for years to avoid the awkwardness. There's my one per list, I'm not sure if that counts. Unfortunately, though, this was real. Remember how so much of this series was about letting go and moving on to a better future? Well, the finale features Ted seemingly not having learned anything from the past nine seasons, running back to a decade-old failed relationship. The mother dies off-screen, Barney and Robin get divorced, and everything is so weirdly miserable. We don't even get time to process the mother's death before we get a moment with the kids that's played for laughs, and then Ted goes running back to Robin in an ending that's supposed to be seen as a victory, but is actually just really sad. Way to ruin the entire series in the span of one episode. Gosh, can you believe that that person said that about that particular video on that entry? I sure can't. Huh. But you should like, share and subscribe below anyway. And also, the people who made this video, they're right here. Go follow them and give them some love. Also, there's more content probably above my head. Check it out. Or don't. 50-50.